Hey Harmonizers, welcome to my first ride back in the saddle after having my baby. This is me and Alicia. There's just a couple little jumps that we did in the indoor arena and then I'm going to take you guys outside and give you a bit of a tour of our outdoor obstacle park while getting back in the saddle with my girl. So I didn't do a ton of like trotting and cantering and jumping and stuff, but here's a little peek at a couple little things. Most of all, I went outside and then I rode at the walk and played with the obstacles. So here I am with Alicia, just kind of moving her through the curtain so that way I can untangle it. It's probably the most annoying thing with the outdoor obstacles that the uh, curtain always seems to get blown up and around the pole, but the easiest way to get up there and fix it is to just stop with your horse and you can uh, pull it all back down. And Alicia is nice and tall, so she makes that pretty easily. So she's getting kind of bomb proofed in the process as I'm fiddling with the little curtain pieces to get them put around. And so this particular ride was just 13 days after giving birth to my baby. And I was just kind of gauging it based on how I was feeling. Um, I felt pretty good walking around pretty good. And when I was trotting around and cantering around, felt out of shape because I haven't rode for a long time. And uh, not going to lie, I definitely peed myself a little bit. So I know I'm not 100%. So I didn't push myself, just did a tiny little bit of trot and canter. And then we came out and we rode at the walk doing the obstacles. And it's super nice that we have the obstacles and that I can do that. So I can get back into some technical things with my horse and bomb proofing things with my horse without uh, doing anything really physically intense. So riding my horse with a walk, I don't think is any really all that different from uh, walking around on the ground myself. It's pretty similar in, uh, in motion and there's not really any impact or anything like that. So here's a look at some of the obstacles around the park. It definitely makes a difference to the horse whether you're riding or you're on the ground. And we only have about two months until the thoroughbred makeover. So I really need to start riding Alicia over things. Otherwise, we're going to be in a bit of a pickle when we get to the makeover. Because you can do all sorts of stuff from the ground. But if you don't build your horse's confidence with you in the saddle as well, they're not going to be a horse that can just ride through any type of obstacle. You need to practice riding through obstacles. So I didn't do any of these things on the ground before I came out here. I just came uh, out from the indoor arena and, and rode her out here. And that's an important thing to do because if you, again, if you do all of the things from the ground first, you're not going to build your horse's confidence the same way. So now this, of course, is at home. And she's been out here before and she has done all of these things, uh, just not recently and not on the ground before this particular session, session. This was the only obstacle that she kind of looked at a little bit. You can't see it too well, but it's a, it's a rock over a ditch. It's a flat rock over the ditch that the horses have to step over. Otherwise, she pretty much breezed through everything. Here's going over some little logs. I'm going to go through the curtain again. And she's great with all that kind of stuff. And I really just need to get exposing her. She's really, really good. She'll do all sorts of things for me. But sometimes when we go offside or when things are new or different, her anxiety level can really spike. And I need to get her calm and relaxed. So that way when we go offsite, it's no big deal for her. Kentucky Horse Park for the Thoroughbred Makeover only two months away, which means I really have to maximize my opportunities to get her relaxed. And the hard thing is going to be that in Ontario anyways, we are competing, but none of our big shows, none of the really chaotic shows like we would have done in the past, like we don't have any fairs happening, so we don't have all that kind of noise and chaos. So I'm going to have to really utilize summer camp to uh, have an activity to do some applause and stuff like that, because that's probably, um, you know, one of the crowds that she can be around. And uh, for horse shows, they're really limiting how many people go. And uh, some shows are limiting one horse, one groom, like one groom per, per horse. So you can't have um, tons of people. You're doing a little back through obstacle through the cave. 
which she struggles with not to go through the cave, but she's on a slight little bit of a hill there and uh, backing up the hills is a hard task for her. So that's something that we're definitely going to practice because when, I don't remember that we've done it every makeover, but we've definitely had it part of the trail class in the makeover before having to back up a bit of a hill with your horse as part of the course. So I think that might've been in two of the different years that I've competed at the thoroughbred makeover. And it has to do a lot with the strength of the horse more than uh, anything else in that coordination and lifting up their legs and lifting up their back. So here's another look at backing through the cave. This time I was more straight parallel to the fence. So she didn't have to do a little bit of a hill. A lot easier for her. And then when I go down the hill on the other side, I'm going to try backing up a hill again. And we'll just have to keep practicing that. So we do have our first horse show booked for... Um, for the same weekend to be able to go. So I did this ride two days before the horse show that I'm planning to go to, but the only class I'm planning to do is the trail class and the farm where I'm going. The obstacles are pretty innocent. Like they aren't super crazy or anything like that. And they've said that afterwards I could school her. So if one of the obstacles is tricky for her, I can do that. There is a water feature as well, which might be a bit challenging for her. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes. And this will be a really good test to see how well prepared we are for Kentucky, how much work we have to do, and if the trail class is going to be her second class, which is what I'm aiming for because I wanted to do some jumping with Alicia, but just given the fact that we only have two months and I'm only just starting back to the saddle, that's not really fair to Alicia to try to push her to get over that height uh, in such a short amount of time, not have all that exposure because I love competing in the field hunters too. It's a lot of fun, but just realistically with only about eight weeks to go, I don't think that's going to be super possible. So trail is probably going to be where it's at for us. So here practicing all sorts of obstacles, different bridges, different ditches, things like that. And in two days, we'll be planning to go to that horse show doing that trail class. And I'll also probably have the Mustangs with me just for pure exposure and bringing them with me to the show. So you can see the obstacle is pretty low key physically, but at least we're back in the saddle. I'm pretty excited and uh, finally back on my horse. So thanks for watching, guys.